Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here in this video. I'm going to try to make a loading screen in Roblox Studio for your games. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and go to Start a GUI in the Explorer. You go ahead and enter object, and it's going to be Screen GUI. And then we we'll go ahead and rename this to Loading Screen. Because, you know, the, the name's going to matter when it comes to scripting. And then we we'll go ahead and insert a frame in that. And then we we'll go ahead and change the size of this to 1, 0 comma one comma zero enter that then go ahead and change the background color to whatever you want we're going to do like a mint color go ahead and enter a text label into the frame go ahead and do that and then we're going to go ahead and do an anchor point of 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and then we're going to go ahead and change the position of that to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and then as you see here now it's in the middle and then we'll go ahead and make the background of the text label transparent let's make it one and then we're going to go ahead and just change the size and the font of the text and also make sure the text is scaled as well okay before you do anything and then we're going to go ahead and change the font of it to whatever you want and i'm just going to do loading you can say whatever you want, really. It's then text size. Yeah. Okay, so it's a little small, but it's alright. We'll just leave it like that. Then once you're done with the loading screen, we're gonna go ahead and go to replicate it first. Insert a local script into that. We can rename the script to a loading screen script, so you just have the you know all your stuff organized more. Make sure you guys go ahead and put the GUI into the local script. So let's go ahead and do the script. I know this is everyone's like favorite part and everything, but just go ahead and follow me the best you can. Let's go ahead and enter that. Cool. Game players. Player. Child player GUI player GUI set set top bar frequency to zero script loading screen. Clone it. Okay. Oh, my bad. Don't, don't do that. Part. GUI dot parent player. I'm actually gonna do this. We're gonna do repeat and wait one until game is. And then we're gonna do GOI dot frame between position. Now this one does seem a little weird, I know. That new then we're gonna have zero comma zero comma one comma zero. And then we're gonna do this. It's gonna be in out. Then after that, it's gonna be a 0 0.5. So after we get all, all that stuff, so I'm gonna do weight 0 0.5, and then we're gonna do GUI destroy. Which we'll get rid of the GUI. So let's go over it really, you know, really fast here. So the first, you know, code text right here, the first part that is to remove the default loading screen that Roblox normally has, then replace it with ours basically. And then we have the player waiting, and then it gets rid of the top bar, you know, makes it transparent, and then it makes a clone of the GUI. So basically, in this part, it's going to clone the, our loading screen, and then it's going to put it into the starter GUI here, and then it's going to have it see the GUI until the game is actually fully loaded, and then it'll have like a little animation kind of where it goes down and then it disappears. So basically, destroyer will get rid of the GUI once it's fully loaded and everything. 
Basically, we have this line of script here, which says repeat, wait one until game is loaded. You can change this if there is a line in your game, because it does depend on how big your game is. Because if a game, your game takes longer to load, then go ahead and use this piece of script right here. But if your game loads pretty fast, you see the loading screen disappearing pretty fast, you can go ahead and actually change this to wait.5, okay? Instead of having to wait, wait till it's fully loaded, because my game loads pretty fast, especially for the tutorial. So I'm going to do wait 5 seconds. We're going to go ahead and see how it looks in the game. As you can see here, this is the loading screen. Looks pretty awesome. And then this goes down and disappears. So that's how you add loading screens into Roblox Studio for your games. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And until next time, goodbye.